As you look in, it's like a display, so you're able to see like the key points to the book. The first one was um, Parzival. He's reading the instructions to the book. And then the second quadrant shows how he lived in the real world with like trailers stacked on each other. And then the third one shows the main fight with at Castle Anorak. And then the fourth one gives us kind of a sense of them coming together even though they didn't know who they were. It's just that piece that ends. Having like this creative project where we weren't supposed to write an essay on it, but instead make something like a painting or like a sculpture or something. Everyone in New College knew what we were talking about. It's like, oh, I can't believe what happened to this part of the book. And it's like, oh yeah, I remember reading that too. And so when you see other people's projects, you're like, oh, I can see where you got that idea and why it pertains to this. the like opacity of the images are kind of reduced to like give like a perception of like what you know society's become with like the energy crisis the famine the poverty everything and from there there's the uh, the haptic uh, glove and visors one holding the 1981 quarter which played a huge role you know just the overall like virtual reality like effect just like you know what you're 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 perceiving I believe that the intention of technology was to have a more easier, convenient way to bring us all together, but now it just seems like it's isolating us and pushing, pushing us further apart. And I think that the book really wanted to reiterate that maybe we should take a step back and take a closer look at really how technology is impacting us and how we can use it for its true intention to bring us together rather than isolate us further. I hit that part in the book where he's like, oh my gosh, the Browns keys in the Tomb of Horrors. And I was like, Tomb of Horrors, it sounds very familiar. So I went and talked to my friends about it and they're like, don't you remember? We played through it like 15 times in D&D. &D. I loved it and I was like, how can I how can I express this in a form that would feel like you're Parzival uh, going through the Tomb of Horrors? No one's gotten through it. it I, I created it and I can barely, barely scrape by to get halfway through. Going through it for me personally, like I, I sat down and when I read it, I fell in love with the story. And it, when I when they talked about that being something that was going to get us a way to relate to each other, I thought I thought it was a crazy idea. But when I came in, I sat down. I was like, Hey, what did you think of this book? And they were like, Oh, I liked it. Oh, I didn't like it. Oh, I liked it because it was about video games. Like that, it really allowed me a social environment to start conversations, to start building friendships. 